In the early hour of Saturday, which is 29th of uh, January 2022, we have an information from uh, the head of uh, security, uh, the local security at Okearegba area, that uh, four young boys were seen burning something in a local port in Okearegba area at about 3 a.m. This rose their suspicions and they quickly uh, lodged complaint at our uh, division, division headquarters in Adaton. Upon the information, the DPO Adaton division quickly led his men to the scene where three of the suspects were arrested. The fourth one escaped. On interrogation, the three arrested one confirmed to us that what they are born in is a woman head. And they confessed that the head belongs to a lady simply known as uh, uh, Sophia Kennedy, a 20 year old girl. And that the, 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 the deceased happened to be a girlfriend to one of them by name Solu Majekudumi. It was this solu that lured the girl to an abandoned building where they skewed the neck of the victim and after killing her, they used a cutlass to cut off the head. When after cutting off the head, they packed the remaining dismembered body of the victim into a sack and dump it in an uncompleted building. The three of them were taken to the, to the station and uh, on, it, on the further interrogation, they made us to, to, to realize that they want to use it for money-making rituals. Having gotten the information, the Commissioner of Police, Ogun State Police Command, C.P. Lan Reban directed that the escaped one must be hunted for because none of them, none of them must go unpunished. Following the CP directive, the DPO and his detectives launched a very serious manhunt for Majako Dome Solu. And uh, in about two or three hours, we were able to get him arrested in his hideout. The four of them, they are here. They have confessed to the crime. The port you are seeing in front of them, that is the port they use in burning the head of that innocent young girl who was caught down in her prime, simply because some people want to get rich quick. It's a very, very disturbing incident because this can only be described as the superlative degree of callousness. It is despicable and uh, it is barbaric. At this, at this time, this death age, for somebody to see half it in mind that until they use the life of a human being like them before they can get, they can get money. And also, what is it that a 17-year-old boy, a 19-year-old boy, 18-year-old boy, what is it that they want to use money for that will lead them so this type of heinous crime is still, is still beyond the comprehension of any normal human being. I want to advise that many parents have failed in their responsibility because this is a result of bad parenting. It's a result of failure, complete failure of parental responsibility. Because if this thing has not been done all this thing has not been encouraged by parents. If parents have been taking care, very good care of their children, I don't believe that any properly brought up child will want to embark on this type of, uh, of the, the, on this type of uh, criminality. I also want to advise that the generality of the people, we have a lot of work to do. The religious body, the entertainment body, and everybody that has one or two things to do with the security of life and property. We have a lot to do. 
religious bodies should please stop preaching only prosperity. We should be we should be preaching morality more than the way you we, 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 we preach a prosperity. The Nollywood actors, they should please the censor board, they have a lot to do to, to regulate the type of film we'll be bringing out. Because some of them, they learn it in film, where they see that uh, somebody uh, make a, a, a ritual and he became rich suddenly. No matter how that film ended, we should discourage it. Because I don't know what we can call this type of uh, juvenile, uh, or, 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 or what we can call this type of uh, incident that will make all these young lads to be thinking of making so much money at this their age. By now, they're supposed to be in school or they're supposed to be an apprentice somewhere where they're learning work. It is very, very disturbing. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.